background rising wonderful souls and welcome to bromance cove tarot this is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward if you are a new face welcome in my lovelies and if you're an old face welcome back soul family before i start before i get into you know um any downloads that have come through i need to cleanse my space excuse me i am going to start with a bell so if you find um, if you find these types of sounds a little bit too harsh on the ears, please turn down your volume now because I will be giving it a little bit of a shake all over. OK, you ready? Three, two, one. And this is now my favorite incense. I love it because it smells like um, cinnamon. I really was going to bring it to the screen. Like, can you smell it? But some people do have like um, psychic smell and like some people have psychic taste. I know that one's called Claire Gusto. So someone may actually be able to smell this. You never know. I might blow some to you just in case. So let's go through, cleanse everything down. I hope everyone's having a wonderful time, wonderful day, that everything is looking good for you. Okay. And I, I don't know why I feel like saying to someone here, everything's temporary whatever something's about to change for you in a big way that's for someone specific especially if you're going through it at the moment now if the messages that came through were someone is jealous that the attention that the, the attention has been taken away even after they rejected that same attention it's almost like someone um you know trying to put the riz on someone and they keep trying and they keep trying and they keep trying and that person keeps batting them away and going i'm not interested and then that person goes okay i give up and starts doing it to someone else and they're like um you do know that they're only doing that to get me annoyed when really this person's just gone i'm done and has moved to someone else you also have here wanting to be the main character in someone else's story went to the internet to make a big deal of it okay I have others here, but I think I might keep these for another read unless Spirit tells me otherwise. Now, I'm going to pop these down here. Boop. I'm in a really weird mood today. And let's see, do you need to go over here? Okay, so we're starting with some little mini ones. Acts for forces working against you and dealings or relationship with an older man. So there's someone here that is jealous of some sort of attention. And they're now working against you. They don't like the fact that they're being ignored. Someone doesn't like the fact that they're being ignored. Or someone feels like if they if they keep pestering you, either that's energetically or physically, that you're going to, at some point, um, you're going to bend, I heard. This is like a weird kind of like power play. You know when you think of like um, a narcissist, the narcissist to the empath paradigm? That kind of one feels way too much and gives, 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 and the other one just takes and takes and takes and takes. Please remember that my readings are not personal and private readings. They are collective. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate for you, then it will resonate for someone else. Successfully, successfully overcoming a problem. If someone's got a lisp, a lisp or a stutter, you will be playing a different role. Successfully overcoming a problem. Why am I just here and just keep ignoring them? Or Someone doesn't understand why you keep ignoring them. They don't understand why you keep blocking them. Or they don't understand why they're being blocked. Why is it that when they remove their energy, you act exactly the same as if they try to push their energy towards you? And I've got that song by Sam Smith in my head, Body Shop, again. So somebody's... Do you know what? I had a dream download. And um, last night, I dreamt that there was... It was like a farm... It was like a really loads of acres and there was a farm. I wasn't there. It was almost like I was floating around and I was listening to conversations, but they couldn't see me. And there was a group of people um, like their gender was really ambiguous. I just know that they were older. So it could they could have been like really old, old men, old women. But they were they were talking about somebody who lived quite far away, but they could see them through binoculars and they were looking into like a neighbouring farm and um, they were going, what, what, is, what are they doing? Why aren't they reacting? What are they doing? And the person who had the binoculars was going, they're praying or they're, 
they're giving thanks. And I can remember seeing through the binoculars that they were looking at like it was a, it could have been a, a he, she, they, it could have been anyone. But they were like this. And they had a smile on their face. And they were just like, they could have been saying anything. Dear Lord, thank you so much for blessing me and protecting me. Or saying their affirmations. Or, you know, thank you so much universe for giving me life and blah, 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 blah. This person was so at peace. And I can remember they were wearing a blue top. So their throat chakra is very activated. And they have Archangel Michael around them. This, These people... They were frustrated. They were frustrated that what they were doing or what they were sending to this person was not facing this person. Like this person was just keeping prayed up, staying prayed up or doing their affirmations, loving themselves, healing themselves. And that blue, it was like this type of blue. It was like that type of blue. So this is all throat chakra. They were just cleansing their throat, gargling it, doing whatever. And these older gentlemen, because I'm, I'm seeing one of them now in my mind's eye, and he kind of looks like um, Clint Eastwood, but with like a longer nose and really wrinkly, like really, really wrinkly. Almost like you want to open your eyes, you have to pull your eyelid up. This, yeah. And I'm seeing like this woman but she's wearing all black. She looks very dramatic, almost like it's all, that one dramatic auntie you have at the funeral that has to be the, the, the loudest, that has to cry the loudest, that has to wear the net over their head. That's the energy that I'm getting from this woman. And she's actually wearing those, those clothes. She's wearing black. Someone's in mourning. But this, there's something here with this, you know, jealous the attention has been taken away after rejecting the same attention. Someone here is angry. That I'm, on, I'm honestly feeling like someone's angry that they never got the attention in the first place or they are jealous of the fact that they may have been stealing something from you or, or whoever this person is that's been staying prayed up. Because I feel like they were doing it on the sly. They were doing something on the sly and this successfully overcoming a problem and you'll be, you will be playing a different role. They were trying to change something I heard in your aura. Time to go out and have fun is upside down. I heard the air of depression and I can actually feel here, here from my solar plexus to my heart space. Someone is worried. Someone is worried. This is kind of like the, I've been stealing out of the till at work and I didn't realise there was a camera. That's, that's the kind of worried that I'm feeling from whoever these people are. Like they didn't realise that they were being watched or they didn't realise... They didn't realise that while they were watching whoever this is with binoculars, this person already knew. It wasn't even like this person was un unaware. They knew and they were like, I'm not giving you no attention. I don't know if when this first started, because I feel like this is like a saga. This is something that's been going on for a very long time. That um, maybe when this first started, started happening, someone may have retaliated or somebody was hit up about it or reacted in a certain way. And this has changed. So they're not getting the attention they used to get. I had over, this is over a period, a long period of time. Stress, there's stress here. Stress. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Spirit come through. What do we need to know about this? Your major challenge to overcome. So there's someone who's very stressed. They were trying to put some, some sort of 10 of wands energy on your back on someone's back i heard thank god you love jesus thank god you love jesus that will be for specific people because not everyone who watches me is christian but someone here thank god you love jesus seriously staying prayed up and i heard someone listens to psalm 91 is it psalm 91 and i heard that's a good one Someone listens to that or someone's been asked to incorporate that in. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Thank God you, <laughs> thank God you are talking to Jesus. That won't be for everyone. And that's fine because Jesus is an ascendant master. That's how I view him. And that's a relationship I have with him because I am omnist. Um, but I have deep respect for him. Um, for others, if it's not Jesus, it's going to be another ascendant master. It could be Kuan Yin, it could be Buddha, it could be Master Saint Germain, it could be Kuthumi, um, it could be any of them. Let's actually find out. Let's see who's coming to the forefront. But 
you've got people trying their hardest and then they're they stress stress though absolute stress like why temporary problems indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly they were trying to send some sort of energy towards you and it was through dream state i know it's through dream state because i've still got this song by sam smith in my head so this is distorted sensual energy that they were sending okay this was to either drain you or to try and have like 5d intercourse yuck 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 just yuck and i'm just i'm thinking back to like the conversation that these people were having they are now i think about it they were all wearing black so they were either mourning or they were trying to protect themselves they were trying to protect themselves and they were staring over i don't know if somebody's been watching you like from afar i'm getting like in a car and i'm looking out because where i live there's a road that goes all the way down and that curves around and i can see when people park and stuff like that so i have a feeling that there's someone has been watching either you or the person you're thinking of only take it if it resonates okay remember that my readings are for confirmation of what you already intuitively know if this is news to you and it is unsettling you then it's not for you and that's absolutely fine but someone's been watching and they may have been using binoculars they may have been talking to somebody else going nah he she they are fine they're in there they're, they're praying or they're you know giving thanks or they're dancing i do dance in my kitchen quite a lot and i have big windows so it could have been dancing or you could have been working out or eating or painting or drawing or doing whatever you do and just living your best life and there's something here about having a smile on your face when you're doing certain activities especially activities that align you or de-stress you and someone was looking for updates and there's just it's not even con just confusion there's someone is vexed and frustrated like how the f are you not being affected by this how and again thank god you have a connection to jesus so someone has kuan yin with them and thank the universe you have kuan yin with you okay care and compassion Cho choose to be loved do what is right for everyone involved offer a helping hand so they're sending this stuff hoping that it would i don't know if it's supposed to taint you or taint your aura or do something to you and instead you carried on helping other people you've got lady Portia underneath as well do what look at this yeah this one says do what what is right for everyone involved and then this one over here says do what you feel is right an important lesson is unfolding and you've got two purples here as well and you've got dharma un and then dharma unfolding seriously remember that you are on a path take one step at a time to happiness stop wow i'm going to put these out I literally I'm going to put these out. So we have Jesus, we have Kuan Yin, we have Lady Portia, and we have um, Deval Kool, Dharma Unfolding. Wow, wow, wow. I might at the end read these, um, these cards. Which one? The one in the middle. I'll read the one in the middle. So th the thing is as well is that someone here has learned a lesson. And I don't say that, like, you know, sometimes you say you learn a lesson. I mean that someone has learned something to do with their evolution their growth um or they're about to they're going through this lesson at the moment and part of that is coming to peace with the fact that there are always there's always going to be chaos around there's always going to be challenges there's always going to be something happening but it's how we i heard take the someone taking the path either of less resistance or taking the path of resistance because that can be seen in two ways taking the path of, path of less resistance can be seen as giving up and kind of going with the crowd because you don't want to go against the grain it also can be surrendering to, surrendering to the divine and going there's no need for me to resist anymore i'm just going to put myself in your arms whether that's god whether that's allah whether that's vishnu you know the oneness of all and let you lead actually let you lead me rather than constantly pushing against it or questioning 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 and you've got Odin upside down, psychic insight, your third eye is open. See truth for what it is, follow your intuition and divine healing. So there may have been something that was blocked for a very long time or something that is now opening or you're opening to something or someone here is opening to something. And you've got these people in the background. I'm getting elders. These are elder people. 
And I'm saying elders as in they're a group. They didn't look the same. They didn't all look alike, if that makes sense. So I don't know if this is a family. But these are, it's almost like these are the people that other people go to to confide in. And I heard that they're sought after or they're hard to get to. So there's like a hierarchy of some sort. Marriage in reverse and temporary problems. Why did that come out? Why is that even important? And as I try to like, um, you've got wealth here and temporary problems. And even me trying to shuffle them, they're all going everywhere. This is to do with some sort of union. This is to, of course, it's to do with your abundance. It always is, isn't it? And I still got that song by Sam Smith. So somebody's doing SEX magic or some sort of distorted magic. And I can feel like out of breath, I'm out of breath. It's almost like when you get so anxious, you're so anxious. It's like running for a bus and then stopping. And I don't mean that brings in anxiety. Um, but it's that, and I'm feeling that right here, and it goes all the way down to the pit of my stomach. Why are they so stressed? And I heard you were supposed to be, you were supposed to be injured, or you were supposed to be angered or upset or something, and you've got here wealth coming out again. <coughs> Excuse me. You've also got financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. And then you also have a fair woman dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, grey or white hair. Okay, so someone, whoever this group is, these elders, they're stressed. They are stressed because you're coming, there's some sort of wealth that's coming to you. There's some sort of financial gain that's coming to you because you did what was right. I'm looking at Lady Portia Divine Order. There was an order to things that were going to happen anyway. But this purple, all to do with like your crown, your third eye. And I've just realised that both Kuan Yin and Lady Portia both have these teardrop things over their third eye. Ish. There's some sort of a spiritual awakening coming to you or upgrade. I feel like someone's going to have a veil taken off from their third eye. And if you don't understand what I mean, my understanding of when it comes to our third eye and why sometimes you'll see like on TV and people are like, you know, how powerful mediums can be where they're like, you know, oh, yes. And Bill is standing right next to me and he's wearing that top and blah, blah, blah. and having a good chat. And I, I know that I, I am also a medium. Um, I see them through my third eye rather than visually in front of me. Um. And I've always, growing up, would be like, how do they do that? How, what's that? The lady from New Jersey, and she has like big blonde hair. She's got like a real, um, she's got a New Jersey accent, must do. But she'll just be like, yeah, and the person's standing behind you. I'm not even gonna try to do that accent. I'm really, really sorry. Um, I always kind of questioned how on earth were they able to, um, be that skilled and that capable and that powerful and it's it's it comes down to each of your veils the amount of veils that you have over your third eye and how when we learn certain things through healing through experience through making choices our guides will say to us okay they're now ready to have one of those veils taken off and oh now I can see a little bit more, whether that's your intuition, whether that actually is mediumship skills, whether that's clairvoyance, claircognizance, and it will continuously be stripped back until you get to the point, I don't know what point that is in this life or the next life, where you don't have any whatsoever. Um, but this do what you feel is right with this wealth and financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. You did, so I don't know what you've done. But there's something that you did that was right, not only for yourself, but for everyone involved. You helped someone through love. I don't know if you helped one of these enemies, not even realizing they were your enemy. And you're being blessed because of this. Because I just heard Jesus said, turn the other cheek. And someone here did at some point. And these people watching, like, what the F? How is this person not reacting? Because this is the change in perception. This may be the lesson that someone is learning here. There's something from the past that is a, it's been let go of. And not only has it been let go of, or it's about to be let go of, this is going to be the result. 
this financial gain is coming in because of care and compassion, because of divine order, because Dharma is now unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Someone's changing the way they view things or how they react to certain things. And I heard sometimes it can, I don't know if for someone confrontation makes them feel a bit shaky. Like, so if someone's having a go at you, it, it, and it can be anyone it could be you're at work and you have a customer that's being right a-hole and they're having a go at you someone here feels it they literally feel the impact of that energy coming towards them because words are spells we have to be we have to be amicable it's not amicable what's the word we have to be careful with our words impeccable that's the one someone feels it and there's been an instance or there's going to be an instance where someone tries to project how they feel onto you or the person you're thinking of. Because in both of these cards, with um, Lady Portia and with Kuan Yin, they both, Lady Portia has a flower at her heart space, and Kuan Yin has that teardrop at her heart space as well. The way that you either deal with how this person speaks to you, whether that is a customer at work, whether that is a family member, whether that is somebody trying to press your buttons, is bringing in financial gain. This has happened in the past as well. There was something here with um, either forgiving someone or showing them mercy. I remember somebody actually put that in the comment section on one of my videos and I was like, that's beautiful. Is um, if, if people are struggling with forgiveness, because the thing is as well is when we walk around with like um, holding grudges against people who have hurt us, because when we are like, I forgive myself, but I don't forgive that person, you're holding a grudge and holding onto that energy. And every time you think about that person, it brings that wound back up again. It means that wound's not healed. It's not healthy for us. I'm not saying that if you don't do it, you know, woe is you and shame is you. No, because we all heal at different paces and at different rates but the end goal should be complete emotional freedom from that from the things that have been we've been carrying which includes forgiveness of those who have hurt us that's the ultimate goal right um i've literally forgotten what i was saying sometimes i do go off on one but someone here has let go of something They've literally let go of something. They did what they felt was right. An important lesson is unfolding. And they chose to have love. And they did. the thing is as well is that this forgiveness, the way that you reacted in the past, and how this perception is changing now in the present, is actually doing what is right for everyone involved. And I know that sounds really vague, but it's almost like loving thy neighbour and loving thy enemy at the same time. And I feel like this is what is infuriating. It's really infuriating whoever these elders are because they're watching you happy. They're watching you being happy and taking that one step at a time to happiness. That comes back to like the a message at the start. For someone here, um, they needed to hear that message that everything is temporary and it's just showing up for ourselves every day in any which way that we can because sometimes we can't show up 100%. Maybe we don't have the mental, emotionally and a mental capacity on that day. Maybe we're too tired. Maybe we're unwell. Maybe we're stressed. But just showing up for ourselves. And that can be in so many different ways. It can be getting out of bed and having a shower is showing up. And my phone keeps going off. It literally could be showing up for yourself is telling yourself how awesome you are in the mirror. But someone's showing up for themselves. And these people watching... They're angry. They're angry. They are angry. There's there's a want to block someone's um, sensual energy because someone has shame around that or these people. Um, there's something about a sense of control when it comes to how people perceive SEX or intimacy or that type of int intimacy or exploring your body or liking your body or, you know, um, pleasuring yourself and i know that for some people that's quite a taboo thing to talk about and like cringe and, and it shouldn't be because our bodies were created by the creator and we were we've give we've, we've been given erogenous zones and we've been given all of these things because we are supposed to express ourselves but it's supposed to be done in a sacred way that's my understanding and i was reading a post um oh, what's his name i found him on facebook and he's excellent he was talking about um, 
the Kundalini and Risings are so important, especially if you are on a soulmate or twin flame journey. Not everyone is, and that's absolutely fine, but a Kundalini and Rising, that happens when we take back empowerment of our reproductive organs and the energy that's either trapped there through trauma and how we release that and how we empower ourselves. And you empower yourselves by loving thyself physically, emotionally, spiritually. And these people, there's something here with them thriving off of sending distorted energy and also sending shame when it comes to um, intimacy in that way. And I don't know why that's important here. There's something here about letting go of some sort of trauma. And you've got broken bridge in reverse, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So, And then you've got heart, love, deep affection and caring. There's, there is definitely a want to break someone's will here. And there's someone has a real resolve. Someone, I'm getting like proper, I've said it before, Clint Eastwood. I'm think, think of the film, um, oh, I'm not going to remember it now, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo is such a good film. But in Gran Turismo, he just, he doesn't give up. He literally does not give up. And I won't even, if you haven't seen the film, go and watch it. It is excellent. But what I'm getting is there is a determination coming from a specific older masculine energy in this group society whatever it is this person has that squint in their eye that you see in those old cowboy films when they're looking back at like you know whoever it is that they're going to rob or who, whoever that dastardly villain is that they're going to go and get you know like guns at the ready especially when you think of like the cowboy cowboy films when they have to meet out on dawn that's the energy that i'm getting so somebody still has their sights on taking you or the person you're thinking of down i know that was very long-winded but that needed to get out and i feel like there is um it's like someone has brain fog and i think this is why i've gone a bit slow slower and i had like that gap there someone has brain fog I don't know if one of these people in this group have like memory issues because someone here was really affected when they were younger in the collective with like selective memory as in memories were taken or memories were hidden. Look, a position of authority, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair, and then great happiness and crown, honour and respect will come to you. There was something that was purposely blocked from someone from the collective on a connection that you're supposed to have with someone. You're supposed to have it. And this was blocked on purpose. And this is a, there's a repercussion happening now to someone. I don't know if this person's supposed to be an oracle. Or they're supposed to be the seer in like the group or something. And for some reason I'm getting the older woman that's wearing black with her face kind of like the net, with the net on. This person has brain fog or migraines or confusion or they don't remember things. They maybe have like early onset, not even early onset because of their age, but dementia or Alzheimer's or something like that. I'm not a doctor so I can't, I can't actually um, diagnose those things. But that's the energy that's coming through. Position of authority. And great happiness has come out as well. And then you also have honour and respect will come to you. They were trying to stop you from getting something. You're supposed to sit on a throne. You're supposed to have, you're supposed to be crowned. And I heard in the ethers it's already happened. You've already been crowned in the ethers. And then it says here, spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Someone's been in a, someone's had great loss in their life because that mountain over there as well. Major challenges to overcome. There's been a lot of kind of like obstacles put in someone's life, like purposely, purposely so that you would change course. And I heard, how are you so strong? Literally they're questioning, how are you so flipping strong? And I keep hearing, like, that Clint Eastwood mofo going, over a course of time, it will work. Over a course of time, it will work. 
he thinks it will. You've got the hanged man here, and this card has nothing on it whatsoever. So there may be a, a great pause as well. Um, when it comes to what's coming next for you, okay, it might there is definitely something speeding up, but they don't see it because you've also got here two of chalices underneath and the hanged man. They were blocking some sort of balance, some sort of relationship. Let me put this one over here. There is definitely a choice that's going to be coming forward for someone. And irrespective of gender, because I know that the dark man came out, but you've also got the fair woman over there as well. There is definitely going to be a choice that's going to bring in great happiness. It may have brought in a lot of happiness for this group for a long time. Emperor to the seven of wands. There was a lot of fierce competition, fierce competition. But it's changed. Some some sort of the tide has changed, or the tide the the I can't speak. I've literally got a stutter, and it's not my stutter. Someone is panicked. Someone is panicked. Because that seven, I should have shown you the seven of wands properly. It's two people um pushing these massive ones up against a load of sandbags to stop water coming in. You've got the Ace of Cups, which is about, you know, it literally overflowing. They can't change how you feel about yourself. And because they can't change how you feel about yourself, that take one step at a time to happiness. Remember that you are on a path. It's, remind, it's remembering your divinity remembering that you're having human experiences but you are i went to say a, a spiritual being but i had a star being someone here is a star being and remember this this is just a meat sack this is a vessel okay you're not your thoughts you're not your feelings we are the minute that we we realize that we are not our thoughts and we actually um view our thoughts and see our thoughts we separate ourselves from them you are pure consciousness. Tell me more about this Ace of Chalices to the Dark Man, please. Tell me more about the Chalices to the Dark Man. One card, please. Clarity, please. You've got the Eight of Cups in reverse. To the Lovers, this is, this is like a love of all time. Why do my readings keep going to Lovers? It keeps ending up being a love reading. I don't know why. But you have the two of cups coming out here. There was a block that was put on, on in purpose or memory that was taken out. Like there's there's a memory. I don't know if this is a memory from childhood, if this is a memory from a past life. But you have the lovers and you have the eight of cups. The eight of cups for me in reverse has always been a continued effort or something that will continue to move forward or to progress, you know, um, and then you have the lovers. This is an even killed um, or even matched union of some sort. And I, I, I'm looking at this as well, that's really beautiful. It's blessed by the earth or it's blessed by Gaia. And the crowns coming out, honour and respect will come to you. This is a power couple, position of authority. This is a power couple. Who's the power couple? Who is the power couple? Seven of Chalices to the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, to the Tower. This is literally you manifesting in what you wanted. It's ma manifesting in a happy family. It's manifesting in a wealthy family. There's acorns on here as well. This is significant growth, auspicious growth. And this Seven of Cups is... It's not just about options or illusions or fantasy or stuff like that. It's literally you meeting whoever this person is, because it could be the fair woman or it could be the dark man. As in, you know, dealings with a or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair, dealings with, with a or relationship with a woman with blonde, grey or white hair. Um, take it as it resonates. There is, it's not just about love. And this is what um I will find out. I'll try and remember the name of the guy 
who is like he's like a twin flame spiritual coach and he's on facebook and he does a lot of posts and one of his posts was talking about twin flames coming together and that it's so much more than just a love it's twin flames are part of um either star seeds or light workers who have more than one mission on earth because one of the missions is to connect with their twin and they will have something else that they, they are going to be doing to help raise the, the collective consciousness and the vibration of the globe together this is why they don't want you you guys together this is something that has been either planned before your birth or when you were very young that oracle is going blind is what i heard and that's why they wear the veil to hide their eyes dharma is unfolding remember that you are on a path and that's what they've been trying to remove from you through all of the ups and downs but mainly downs that someone has had through their life through the dark nights of the soul that people have been through and they've been through more than one but great happiness and wealth and love and financial gain are on their way respect and recognition honor positions of authority and I heard once you and this person, whoever your divine counterpart is, once you are together, they can't stop you. And this tower is giving me, I feel like this is, whatever they are part of, is a lot larger than let's just say, you know, a family stealing an inheritance. Which is probably part of this as well. Or, you know, an ex doing A, B and C. This is like um, some weird society creepy i don't know that's a lot bigger and the more twin flames or the more and if you don't resonate with that that label that's absolutely fine but the more that divine counterparts who are elevated who are healing who are on you know that, that are understanding their purpose or learning their purpose the more that they are coming into union the more they're raising that vibration. And the more they, they raise that vibration, the brighter it gets. And the brighter it gets, the more it shines on what these people are doing. It's gonna bring in many towers, many towers. And I keep hearing it's gonna be on the news. And it doesn't mean that it will be on the news saying, the secret society, blah, blah, blah. But you're gonna start seeing people who are in higher places losing their jobs or unalived or disappeared or bad things have happened because the the scales are starting to, um, what's the word, balance themselves out. And this tower to the Ten of Pentacles, to the Seven of Cups is saying as well that this, going back to just talking about this connection, it's something that maybe you weren't expecting. It's something that you've manifested though. You've got the Three of Swords here. The Three of Swords for me is, is whoever these people are that are watching from afar and they're watching from afar because i feel like someone's scared here even though you have this clint eastward mofo that's squinting into the sun you know into the sunset wanting to call you out at dawn you know this person you've got the five of cups here five of pentacles excuse me to the three of swords they've missed out on something or they're they're, they're not going to show the rest of the other people because i feel like that person may be like out of the elders that person's like the top boss or one of the top ones mm -hmm. they're not showing the fact that actually you healed quite a lot it's leaving them with nothing yeah look you're secure you are secure you are literally secure and you have the five of coins over here i don't know if they were trying to make someone um homeless or if they try to do something to your core or to your back I wanted you to be um kicked out by your family tell me more tell me what we need to see king of chalices to the ten of wands there's definitely his family members that are involved though and they may be involved by association rather than actually directly involved with whatever this group is for some you do have people who are linked to this they may not understand um the gravity of what it is that they're connected to because their ego is so big 
because they're not looking past their noses of what they want. And I heard greed. But this has larger ramifications than what they realise. You've got the Ten of Wands coming out to the King of Chalices, which is telling me that they've put in a lot of um, obstacles. And even though they put in loads of obstacles, the King of the King of Cups. King of Cups is a beautiful energy. This is somebody who will help others. This is somebody who's a leader. This person could be a father. Um, I mean, you even look at him. He's got a lovely smile. He's sitting very relaxed, okay? Why am I getting like Father Christmas vibes? But you have the Ten of Wands to the Ten of Cups. They're still putting in some sort of um, obstacle or challenge, or there's going to be an obstacle or challenge to this Ten of Pentacles. But you are being told to continuously connect with Jesus or Kuan Yin or Lady Portia. Kuan Yin with care and compassion, with the choose to the choose to be love, do what is right for everyone involved and, and offer a helping hand, is saying that to stay humble. It's not that you're not humble and that you're being egotistical or anything like that. As you're going through this process, because I heard this offer will blow you away. There's, there's some sort of distance. I don't know why I'm getting this some sort of distance because when you look at the Ten of Wands, you can see how far they've got to go up that hill with all this stuff on their back. But once they're up there, they're home. They've done it. And they've probably done this, you know, once every day they have to do this. So this is not something that you haven't been through before. I heard, but the ending is different. So I don't know if this is to do with relationships, if you've had really arduous relationships or for someone here, a long distance relationship, this one's going to work because I just saw an aeroplane. This could be moving, either you moving or this person moving towards you. I feel like this person's already moving towards you. Look, you've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's going to end up beautifully because you've got the Eight of Cups in reverse to the Ten of Swords in reverse. I heard continued safety. Interesting. So you've got the Five of Coins to the Six of Coins. You're getting a mentor of some sort. Whoever this person is, they may start off as a mentor. This has been coming up a lot in my readings. This person's going to come in as a mentor, but this is going to end in marriage for someone. This is going to end, this is like the love of a lifetime. This wasn't supposed to be a love reading. Yeah, there's some, this person's got, this person's got a really good money mind set a really good money mindset and i say that and i've just bought this book i haven't read it yet the psychology of money and it says on here timeless lessons on wealth greed and happiness one of the best and most original finance books of the year someone may want to get this who's it by uh doesn't say oh yeah morgan Housel. just in case someone is interested now why was i drawn to show someone the book There is a mentor coming in for someone. There is a mentor, without a doubt. You've got the Queen of Pentacles coming out. And you've got the Four of Wands underneath. You've got the Nine of Wands. This is healing, but this is also about growth in more than just finances. Why don't they like this so much? I know I already, I already answered that, but you've got the Three of Pentacles to the Four of Wands. This collaboration is going to bring in so much strength, so much security. But I'm hearing also some sort of family legacy, some sort of family legacy that will keep growing. It will keep growing and it will keep um, expanding. And I heard if there's more light than dark, what do you do? It's almost like from their side, what do they do? If people start waking up, if people... Are no longer fear fear and no longer want to just be dumbed down i heard when the news is no longer relevant mm, king of pentacles look at that you've got the lovers the queen and the king of pentacles this is full abundance wow 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 and i can hear my phone going off as well the three of pentacles underneath they were trying their best to put a block in this this collaboration, the hanged man to the tower, to the three of pentacles. They were trying to slow this down to stop it. But what they didn't realize is every time they've done this, 
whether this is done through a family member you know a strange family member sending stuff a friend or a work colleague whoever it is can you see that little ray in the corner with that little flower growing as much as he's frozen the whole of him isn't and i mean his face at first he looks really stressed out like oh my god am i gonna get out of here when he's literally being told you've been given a paw so that you can smell the roses you, you move too fast and it wasn't that long ago i took a break i literally took a break because the universe was like you are going to burn yourself out whatever's been sent it was if it, it gets to us if it's sent to our door it's because of the divine because of god because of Allah said you know what it's okay you can learn something from this there's that lesson coming in that's the look that that guy had that is the look the guy had on his face the clint eastward looking dude that's how he was squinting and looking looking all the way down into someone's window while they're praying like how are we going to stop this person from being so prayed up or being so grateful and so happy and the thing is as well is that they're seeing you as like floating along like you know like a little angel when you are in reality just having your human experience and yeah there'll be times when you feel like poo or feel crap and you know you might wallow a little bit but then you pick yourself up and that's what they're trying to get rid of it's hope and it reminds me of um has anyone watched the program sandman on netflix i loved it and you know there's a bit where um for those of you who haven't watched it i won't tell you too much but you must have seen online where he has this battle because he's a lord of dreams and he has the battle with um lucifer and the actual battle itself is imagination but how imagine uh, how they use their third eye and how it comes to be and um so they you know they're they're one of them is a wolf you know and you see the other you see the other one getting hurt and then the other one is the hunter and then that person gets hurt and right at the end where you feel like everyone thinks that lucifer's winning because she's like i am the antichrist or i'm the anti-matter whatever and he's on the floor and he's dying and they're like what can you do from that how are you going to get up from that i think you're done and he's like i'm hope i am hope there's nothing that can kill hope and that's what they're trying to do here i mean and sandman he sent the sandman he wins he wins that fight because if you have hope no matter how small it is you cannot squash someone's soul you cannot you cannot defeat someone who is hopeful because that tiny little ember of hope will build bigger and bigger thank you bottle and bigger and bigger and bigger the chariot to the princess of pentacles and because of somebody's um there's someone's willpower here to keep going forward because whoever this person is i'm just going to call him clint eastwood whoever this clint eastwood is they have a lot of resolve they have to have resolve because they have so much responsibility from whoever their boss is, their boss is, that they can't F up. Whereas for you or the people in the collective, we don't have that type of pressure because we aren't doing silly, low vibrational stuff like that. Instead, the resolve is coming from, I'm not giving up, I'm not laying down. I am of the light and for many before they even realized that there was this thing going on between light and dark it was still this this natural pull within people from the collective that resonate with these readings to just if i fall down i get back up i can cry about it but i get back up what did i learn from that and if i didn't learn it's gonna happen again and again and then i'll pick myself back up again and this person over here they're trying to get rid of your sense of hope. And I don't know how to, because that person over there may have resolve, but that's the panic, okay? That's the panic. And you've got the Empress here. I'm going to have to cover her because she's very busty and not wearing any clues. But she's got the moon and the sun, okay? The moon and all... She's got the sun and all the phases of the moon with her. She has, you know, garlands of flowers and ivy in her hair, and she loves her body. And then underneath you've got six, the six of wands as well. This is victory. And this is down to hope. 
and that's why someone's panicking because when we go back to there was something here about the divine order of just letting things happen the way they're supposed to happen and kind of surrendering to the divine this also could be in like um i heard meeting the one for someone here they've just gone it's not i give up or i don't care it's just it will come when it comes they will they will i will meet this person when i meet this person let me get on with my life let me be the empress and let things grow let me you know um embody the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles and let myself grow because you have here now the two of wands exactly somebody's really working on themselves <sighs> tell me about this song because i still got the song of sam smith in my head empress somebody wants the empress and you've got the hermit so this is um sixth house i knew this do you know what it's been coming out a lot Someone is using Nordic runes. Someone is using Nordic runes or trying to call up um, Nordic gods or goddesses to work against you or the person you're thinking of. For someone here, you already have a Nordic god or Nor Nordic goddess that surrounds you or protects you or is part of your light team. But this was to do with affecting your health, your mental health. Yeah, because you know what? I'm looking now at the Ten of Coins, the Ten of Wands, and then the Hermit. This is part of what someone's going to let go of, or has already let go of from the past. There's some sort of patterning behaviour that may stem from a wound from either teen or childhood on how relationships are supposed to go. And I did say before that this, there's something here with um, having long distance relationships or having relationships that are arduous where we just assume well this is how it's going to end this is either changing or it's about to change this is what you're being encouraged to let go of and this is what whoever that that group is are trying to um push towards you through dream state through this i, I went to say distorted sensual energy and i heard demonic sensual energy they want you in your head because the hermit is Virgo and Virgos are very analytical. They're very, um, they like the finer details. They like things organized because they have mercurial energy as well. So that's very much about how you absorb and process information, how you read between the lines. But they wanted it to be in the shadow state or in the shadow side of overthinking things, of kind of going, well, this is what happened before. God, 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 five of pentacles five of pentacles to the moon it's all about taking away hope now that you know exactly what it is that they're trying to do all you got to do is have hope just got to be hopeful that's it you just have to be hopeful and they've already failed and you've got here princess of pentacles in reverse well, that's interesting did you want to come out upside down yes why temperance because temperance is about alchemy it's about balance and you've got princess of swords this is about improving yourself this is improving yourself this person you've got a lot of people watching you excuse me now you could be a tarot reader yourself you could be on social media you've just got people watching you they're watching you heal or they're questioning how are you healing? How is it that no matter what we do, we've got the six of swords there, you always seem to dodge away from harm or you always seem to not be affected by anything that's been sent. And do you know what? This is the reason why I felt that panic. Someone here that is kind of like on the higher rungs of whatever this society or circle or coven is, they're shook now because someone did not believe that you are who you claim to be. Or you may not even claim to say that you are an earth earth angel or that you are connected to uh, God or Allah or Vishnu or whoever that may be in the way that you are. And someone is shook now because they're realizing that you actually are the real deal. They've been watching, they've been watching, they've been watching you heal. And look at that with their little binocular watching you. And watching you move on to karma waters, watching you move on to karma waters, three of wands, expanding, healing, growing, 
and they're trying to control this. They don't understand why they can't bring out these things in you. Anything else that needs to come out? This is this is what is wild. It's wild that they're still doing this, but it's now understandable why they're still doing this because if they are connected to something that's larger, it's not only their heads that will roll, it's many others. Because as I'm recording this and saying you, it's addressing you who's watching it. But there's going to be many people watching it who resonates, which means there are many people who are waking up to their power. There are many people who are ascending. There are many people that are moving for closer and closer to their divine counterpart or to their divine purpose. And that is very scary for those who are trying to keep people controlled, keep people dumb, keep people uneducated, unawake. Neo, you have left the matrix. And you've also got here the wheel and the seven of wands. Yeah, they're fighting for this. They're fighting. They're fighting against this current. They're literally fighting against this current. And you've got death here as well. This is what they're trying to end. They're literally trying to end this for you. You just have to have hope and faith. And I mean, I think this is the reason why they're so shook. Because you're by yourself. This is all, all by you. You're doing this. The power of your voice is extremely, extremely important, extremely powerful. Because remember, in that dream download that I saw, she was wearing blue. I'm saying she, but it could have been he, could have been they. I just remember they had not short hair, not long hair. It wasn't curly, it wasn't straight, it wasn't anything. But that person was wearing all blue. They were protected by their own throat chakra. You did that all by yourself with, look, with the Knight of Chalices, with love and the King of Swords underneath. Order. Love and order. <laughs> Law and order. Love and order. Get it? Wink, wink. And then you have the Eight of Wands. Whatever it is that they send is batted back. It's cut down. It's removed straight away. And it comes back to the divine order of things. Lady Portia, do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Someone here is realising that um, like they don't have to go to war with these people to defeat them. They literally just need to have hope. They need to work from their heart space. And they can return to sender it themselves. Or they can give it up. They can give it up to Archangel Michael. They can give it up to God. They can give it up to their, you know, their ancestors, whoever it is. And send it back with love. Or send it to the light so it can be turned into love. Wow. But there's there's a divine order to things. And the divine order to things is already trickling down into the 3D. And you're going to see this, especially with that financial gain. Usually coming from something you did in the past with wealth. With great happiness coming out. This is all coming in for you. And people are scared. People are scared of this. Something legal is coming. Something as in um, the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles to the King of Swords and then the Lovers. A great deal of money is coming to someone and I heard that 2024 to 2025. Wow. Just wow. Wow. Because you've got the Emperor coming out and you have the Eight of Wands. There is going to be a very fast moving energy of abundance of things just all coming together those who need to you know been knocked down a couple of pegs or thrown in prison or whatever it is it's gonna happen and there's gonna be a lot of um a lot of growth a lot of growth a lot of growth in all areas of someone's life well i'm gonna leave it there because it's been an hour did not realize it was that long i will quickly get the zodiac signs this is just all the different fire signs. So I feel like this is for everyone. And you've also got Libra. So this is all about fairness. This is the actual scales coming back into, into equilibrium. And Virgo, which is all about organisation. It's all about routines. Wow. Now, where did I put the box for it? It's too far away. 
just going to leave it there. My throat is so dry. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew. If you are new to my channel and this resonated for you, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when I actually post. And if you are a returning subscriber, hearts, kisses. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.